have my book. <laughs> yeah, have my book. Take it. It's like, oh, thanks. Yeah, great. And then they just run off. What are they doing? What is he doing? Hunter is Hunter's just gonna go waste my time. All right, Spyro Two, everybody. Ripto's Rage. Ripto's Rage. This is a game that is straight from my childhood. Playing this with like Near one of my dear. yeah, like I had the demo of this game, so I only ever got to play Sunny Beach and um, and the Badlands. Those are the demo worlds, but I played the shit out of those worlds, and I knew secrets. I knew good secrets and um, lots of them, and it was nice. Yeah, I so, have yeah. played through. Uh, the first two Spyro games on the remaster. I never played Spyro as a kid, except for in the McDonald's Play Place uh, GameCubes. Of course, I played it there. Who didn't? Am I right? That in Pokemon <laughs> <are> DX. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so I had very little Spyro experience, but I bought the remaster because I figured, how better could I get into Spyro oh. than by not playing Skylanders? Uh, honestly, I, I think there wasn't like a single minute when I played this uh, this remastered game for the first time that I actually wasn't constantly looking at things and saying like, look at the texture on this. Look at, first yeah. of all, look at the way everything moves and they the way he, he trots. Like, I know the PlayStation actually did a great job of emulating movement mm -hmm. of his tail and like, and like his little mouth expressions. But now it's like here, like you see his eyes constantly moving. Yeah, it's oh, smooth. it's... All the attention to detail, he like looks this way with like a little nod with his head too. And yeah. the thing is, I, I don't have the nostalgic old textures in my head, and yeah. this is still blowing me away. This Literally. is like because I know what the old Spyro looked like. Everyone played it but me as a child, yep. so like of course I heard a lot about Spyro. I just never played it. So seeing it and it looks like this, it's it is amazing. And I've played through the first two already on this yeah. remaster, and I, I'm still. I will also away. say though, like. Like back in the day, like I did play all of the games actually on, on a, like as like original. Yeah, like games. the OGs. Yeah. Yeah, I have played all the OG games. It's just um, this one was the one that I had the demo for, and later on when Buddy Eric um, gave me the PlayStation One games, I got really into them. I mm. I played Ripto's Rage all the way through. Uh, multiple you times. I remember that, cause that's back when I had that MP3 player that I'd record the radio on oh, for my yeah. music. So I'd listen to that music and I'd play this and I'd just uh, beat the heck out of it. 90s kids will remember. Also, look at look at Moneybags. He looks even more despicable and gorgeous yeah. than he did. Because I remember that pol that polygonal screwball. My goodness. I, I hated him so much in the original game. He was just... <laughs> His story is dumb. He had a bunch of money. Like I, I guess maybe. Ah, oh, damn it. I guess uh, maybe the whole place was kind of run by money bags because he was the one who would, uh, who always got a lot of money. Yeah. Um, from people. But um, still, he's 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 douche. horrible. He's such a great a douche. A great a douche. But uh, I will say, polygonal models are hilarious when it's a fat person <laughs> it, truly because you can't make a freaking circle uh when you've got points in your belly it just looks so funny to me every time oh yeah i think this was one of the secrets that yep. i didn't come back for after i beat yeah, the second game. that's uh, that's an important one i think it's got a flight thing so oh. it's gotta be fun i love yeah. those flight things Man, that looks. Look at that. Imagine Honestly, if you could make that jump, but I think it's too high. Even from, that's incredible. Even if it were a distance that you could achieve, I think it's too high. Fair enough. And now I'm way too high. I'm too <laughs> big. It's <laughs> too <laughs> late. Because <laughs> it's too high. Oh, Lil D. Lil D. L D. L D. I love that because like Lil D and L D, they kind of both yeah. sound like the same thing. But yeah, both of them the also list. work because it's yeah. just like a cool way to say LD. LD. Oh man, R reps to freaking white rappers out there. My goodness, Lil Honestly, Dicky just slays it. And, uh, he and hasn't I'm not saying done too but... much since his last project, yeah. and I'm a little bit sad about it. But I've been enjoying what I support the rap industry, like the rap industry oh, in yeah. general. White rappers are awesome because like they, ra I'm a white guy. Like they, ra they rap, they rep white people, and it's, and it's cool. And it's like black rappers rep black. Well, honestly, and some people don't even see color like that, and they in just the, say, "I just rep rap." In the YouTube, cool. in the YouTube rap scene, as uh, now YouTubers, oh, we yeah. uh, 
the YouTuber I've seen, there's definitely been some of the uh, <laughs> sucker. Oh Kicked yeah, down freaking castle. Yeah, suck it, money bags. Continue. There's definitely been uh, a statement that the in the YouTube rapper community, the black rappers are not as represented as they should be, and that's what they're saying. But also, I'm seeing a lot of them coming up with some real skills, so I think that's about to change regardless. Yeah. Oh yeah, honestly, because rap skill is everywhere, and everyone's everyone's got it different. I know a lot of like uh, rap schemes can only get so creative to the point where things kind of sound like other things, you know. But like everyone kind of has their own flavor that they, that they that they know they have to put into stuff. It's true, and that's what makes it unique. That's what makes everyone's music special to themselves. You kind of you make what you want to hear. <laughs> you know, you make what you want to hear. Yeah. What you want to. You, when you hear those sounds, you want to think, oh, yeah, like, that's that's exactly what I wanted to make. And that's what you want to make. That's what I told Mac. Honestly. True, true. Freaking wearing his shirt. Shout out to Dirty Mac. Shout out to Dirty Mac. Yeah, my our, We're going our to buddy. his show. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, link to his channel. Yeah. In the description. I'll remember that. Yeah. I'll have to remember yeah, that. Yeah, you have to remember <laughs> that, man. Shout that's going to be, buddy. like, so long in the future. I'm gonna Dirty Mac. D E R T Y. Capital M A C. Hell yeah! Link in the description. If there's a K at the end of there, I'm gonna be very upset. He does all of this. No, there's no K. Okay. He he does all of this uh, independently in his house, and yep. he's just a genius. It's amazing. And he goes out and he films uh, like he'll film uh, music videos for some of his videos. He he helps edit people's uh, stuff that they you know like if they're making a movie or a video or something yeah. and then they'll send shit to him and then he just you know he edits it he's the man and he's he's the man he, he's and, Mac the man and words straight from him uh, he one day he just told me he was like you know what man the way I see it anything that you can do that will fuel you creative uh, creatively uh, like yeah. whether I don't know maybe your thing is you like to edit videos but always in editing videos you find that you're not happy with what you do find another creative outlet just do it and then come back to editing videos and yeah then, exactly like just you know get some variety but also stick to what you love and then it just as long as you get your creative juices flowing then you uh you'll improve in areas that you didn't even know that you needed to to uh make better content out of exactly. what you want yeah i agree wholeheartedly all interesting stuff all interesting things I'm just collecting all gems because, like, because oh, gems yeah. is actually a very important part of this game. Yeah, because money I, bags. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't play adventure games like this as a completionist. Uh, not my first time through it. So this being my first experience, I was just gonna play oh, through I the game and, and beat the levels, you know. So I was doing that, but then I would actually get held up by money bags, and he's like, yep. "Yo, you ain't got the gems. You ain't got the bridge, bitch." Wh and I'm like, "Shit." Why can't I get skills? Like, why can't I learn things unless I have money? That's dumb. Like, logically, Listen. it makes no sense. But it's not a bad game mechanic. It's just logically it makes yeah. no sense. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, if anyone's wondering if I'm wasting uh, butterflies when I do that because they heal sparks, uh, you just get enough butterflies and not even sure how many, uh, you'll get a free life. So. Oh. Stacking up on lives is really, really good. Wow. Really the more good. you know. Yeah. Oh, I don't need your tips, Hunter. I Are you gonna you fall? To. Yeah, I have to talk to him. You know what? That's great. Hey. Nice. I Wait, mean... do you get the little hop after your fly, or is that later on? Um. Oh. 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 No. I. I have that already. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, that's cool. that's that's a thing. I think. Oh yeah. You either had to acquire in the first game and then yep. kept to the second game, yep. or you already had it. In the first game, you had to acquire it. I remember because you told me that I could do it, and then I couldn't, and we were both confused because I had remembered seeing it, and then and then I got it. And then in the second game, you start with it, and the whole debacle was... Hmm. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I do remember that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then he doesn't... Oh, yeah, there you go. Say, yeah, hey, from say here, shit, what? yeah, once you get this, he will always be there every time you yeah. come back to this world, and he will never say anything different from that position anyways. <laughs> yeah, I remember that, of being confused as I was a kid. It's like, is there something else I'm supposed to do? Or what? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Because right. especially after some levels, it's like I forgot that I had done I the whole trial to get up there. So then I go up there, I find Hunter, and I'm like, oh man, hey dude, I didn't know you were up here. And then he talks to me and gives me nothing, and I'm wondering why he's up there. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, stab. Stab, Hunter. Hunter. 
Entering Idle Springs. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, I idle. It's like, st standby springs, idle springs. <laughs> idle springs, actually, you know what? Don't leave your car idling for too long. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot. How There's the a cutscene for every stage, I think, what's going wrong in yeah. that area of the world, right? Yeah, they're not very long, so I'll, so I'll just... Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. May as well watch them. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know what? He's got the... Like, I totally get it. But Dude. why didn't it... Why didn't she come to life? Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe he's gonna explain. Nope. Yeah, what a... <laughs> They pull a DDD. What the heck? They stole yeah. the food. We're gonna well, have to speaking lift this of Idle Springs, you're gonna have to stand idly here while we wait for the next episode. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> Booyah.